Here we are for another installment of Sugar Water TV, and I'm here with Simon Duncan in the studios right now, fashion designer extraordinaire, doing his doggone thing, getting ready for Fashion Weeks. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Yeah? Yeah, so tell everybody about yourself. You know, we all know that you're a fashion designer, but tell everybody about your history and what you've done. Um, well, I got my fashion education at um, Fashion Institute of Technology, mm -hmm. you know, and while I did that, I worked in the garment district. I was doing it at the same time, mm -hmm. initially. I uh, worked in the garment district for the last 25 years, various, with various people in various um, areas. Worked in leather, worked in evening wear, worked in sportswear, again. Yeah. And um, after working with these different designers and fashion houses for a number of years, I've decided that it's time for me to and I hold my skills and do something for self. Yes, fantastic. That's every designer's dream. It's everybody's right? dream. Exactly. So, I want to know a lot about what is your motivation in terms of, you know, every designer sort of has, I don't know, if it's a muse or if it's a certain style that they, or a niche that they're in. What would you say was your fashion motivation, your fashion inspiration? Well, the motivation is just the love of fashion yeah. and the love of, um, seeing people dress and look good yes. initially. Yeah. Um, but um, as far as what keeps that drive going is just that, that thing of really doing, creating something that you can look at later on and say, well, like, I did that. Yeah. That's the ultimate, you know, mm -hmm. fulfillment. Right. So um, this is what propels me to keep on doing what I'm doing. Every time we've done something and, and we look back at it and say, yes, this really looked good. Or oh, even at times you have done things that I look back at it and say, you know, no, this needs to be tweaked. Yes. You know? Yeah. So it's an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing that keeps me going is that nothing is perfect. You keep trying to perfect it, trying to perfect it constantly. I've worked in styles or designs, looks for like five, six years. Really, before releasing them? No, no, no. Oh, they okay. got released. Yes. But then every season, you see something where you can modify it and make it, it better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's Absolutely. If you check most of the fashion houses, they have standard staples. Let's take one of the biggest and best, like Chanel. Yes. They have staples there that they've been doing for 50 years. Yeah, that's true. Like the yeah. Chanel suit, etc. 50 years. For 50 years, 50 absolutely. Years. So then that's actually a good um, segue for me because what I'm wondering is, you, you, we know the Chanel suit, the classic Coco look and things like that. And mm -hmm. I, I know Calvin Klein has a look and I know that. Uh, what is the Simon Duncan look for men and women? What is the Simon Duncan well, look know, like? I it's hard for me to say, although yeah. it have people, people tell me what the Simon Duncan look like. Yes. They say, yes, I saw such and such, and, and I know that I was you. Was, that yeah. was, we know your look. Um, the things I, 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 I do that, that's consistent is fit. I like to fit clothes. Okay. I don't like loose clothes. Okay. I don't like baggy clothes. Right. I like, this is like, another time someone asked me, after one show, like what was what motivated me? Yeah. What was my motivation? I tell them it was it's women. Okay. And women with nice bodies yeah. need clothes that fit them. That fit their bodies. Not clothes that hang on for them like a sack. Right. So this is one of my traits. Mm -hmm. All my designs, whether it's pants, tops, jackets, dresses, mm -hmm. you're gonna see structure. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see fit. Yeah. And um, that comes really from my background and my training mm -hmm. because I was trained and my background is pattern making, not designing. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So pattern making is fit, pattern making is, is precision. It's precision. You know? Um, a lot of times they're designers who they're designers but they're not pattern makers. No, it's true. Right. Yeah. It's so true. fit That's another skill to have. Fit is not always not a forefront for them. Uh -huh, it's right. the idea. Right. It's the concept. Exactly. You know? But right. with me it, they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Once I establish that concept, then I go and work on that fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. So speaking of fit, you, you describe that you like you know a woman's body to be accentuated and to be highlighted through your fashion. How does that work for men? How does the fit translate for men's clothing? Well, fortunately or unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, this era we are now, 
we coming back to even the men wearing more fitted clothes. Fitted. Mm -hmm. And it's only fair. The guys in the gym. Yeah. Why are you going to the yeah. gym to have this cup of body? Yeah, can't leave the pressure to us cup. only, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's working for them. And even you would see it even in our Simon Duncan's men's way. Yes. Where um, the pants would be fitted, the jeans would be more fitted than the average. The shirt's definitely fitted, the suit's definitely fitted. Okay. So it's the same concept, man or woman. We try to keep it even steel. Even too. I guess it's fair, no, you make a good point because if we had to go to the gym, we had to work it out. Make sure that everything's tight on us. I guess the men have to do the same thing too. Yeah. Only fair. It's only fair. True, true. But I, I'm not saying I'm not going to anything. <laughs> you know? But the pants on men don't have to be too too tight, right? No, no. No, no. no, no. Just no. fit it properly. Just yeah. fit it. Yeah. Fit it. Okay. It, it must they must wear their size. Yeah, wear your size. Exactly. Wear your size. Not too big and hanging all yeah. down the knees and all that the, kind then of thing. Then they need a belt to Yeah. But no, yeah. you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that. But, yeah. Okay, well so speaking of that then, for me. Like I said, I don't really like tight, tight jeans on men. And to borrow um, a term from Andre Leon Talley, that's total dreckitude. Yes. What is fashion dreckitude to you? For, for women? For, me, for women or men, either way. But the same tight thing is the same thing with women. Okay. Now we want to fit the body. Yeah. But we don't want it tight. You don't want like no. sausage a, a into it. A size yes. eight girl shouldn't be wearing a size Four. Exactly. You know, yeah. Uh -huh. You see that a lot in the you jeans. Do. You do. The, the, the women do it every day when it comes to jeans. Yes. They wear two size or one size smaller than one. Right. Mm hmm You know that ain't gonna work for men. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. No, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So yeah, that, that's one place I would say. That's it. I agree with Liam. Yeah. Absolutely. So I hear too that you are, as well as preparing for Fashion Week in September, which we all look forward to see the Simon Duncan collection during New York Fashion Week. Um, I hear you're doing some stuff for the young ladies, prom. Oh yes, we are. Okay. But we've always done that. Yeah. Um, we have a selective few who comes through for prom dresses. Yes. Yeah. And um, from February to June, yeah. that's where most of the activity comes from. Right now and presently doing that, you know, prom stuff. And um, what, what what makes a prom thing work, mm -hmm. I've done proms for young girls who have ended up doing their later graduation yes, for college, for college and, and then even come and do their dress for marriage. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. You can do wedding dresses too? We do everything. Oh my goodness. We do everything. That's amazing, because that is a skill in itself. It's very detailed and right. very intricate. Very wonderful. intricate. Very talented. Yeah. Okay, wonderful.